Welcome, everybody. This is uh, the Day Trader Genius Stock Auction Daily Review for February 26, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Rob. Our goal is to show you that every day you can make money trading, day trading, stock options. So, uh, Rob, what happened today and how did we do? Well, we did pretty well, Scott. It was a little bit slimmer pickings, but it was more of a green day uh, than the 25th was. So we're, it's a Tuesday. It's a pretty good day for, for trading. And when we trade options, we're talking about puts and calls. Calls is when we make money going up. Uh, when there's a bull market and uh, the stock prices are rising, uh, we can make a good profit on the options in a short amount of time. So this is one right here, EA. It is a uh, ticker. It's actually a video game company, uh, Electronic Artists. And they've, a couple of video game companies have been hot uh, recently since, since about the holiday time frame, since the end of 2018. Um, they've just kind of been streaking, sometimes up, sometimes down. doesn't really matter to us. We can make money either way. Uh, make a decent profit. So EA had a nice, uh, strong, strong move this morning. We're just going to move forward one minute at a time in our simulator here. And we're looking back at as it breaks this risk zone right here at 940. So we're 10 minutes into the market. Now it's caught my attention. We've got some of the uh, Fantastic Four starting to come on. We've got a trend line. We've got K-Band, which is this blue highlight right here. We've got signal, it's, it's half strength signal, which is this green tint in the background. This would be full strength. So we got pretty good right here. And then we've got JSTOP supporting us as well. So we've got, got those, we just don't have any volume and we're approaching some resistance points. So when a stock starts to you know take off upwards, like EA is doing right here, <clears throat> you have to watch out for previous highs because the people that are moving the stock prices are also stock traders. They're not, they're not option traders. So the stock traders and investors, they might have this targeted for a sell-off. So it could stop the green trend. Uh, same thing for these resistance lines right here that the system um, quite, quite easily on our end draws on the chart for us. So it's easy to be aware of them. So if you're going to enter in any kind of time frame like this, you always want to have, uh, as we said in the Marines, your finger on the tr uh, finger close to the trigger, straighten off the trigger, um, and just ready to fire if you need to. When you if you get into one of these trades, you need to be ready to exit at a moment's notice. So just watch as it kind of touches the previous high. Still not convinced yet, but now we're we have an opportunity. We're broken above the previous high. It's a little bit older trend, but we got a lot of energy going on right now, and here we're at 9683. And RA is at 97.11. So you can bite off a couple of quick percentage points uh, of profit on this if you got in as it broke the previous high and before it touched RA. So there might be some space in there just for, for profit making, even if it's a quick trade. So let's get in, bring over our buy close options window, buy a call, and we'll just watch it very carefully as it approaches RA to see if it's going to do anything uh, kind of sideways all right, we're starting to get volume and we're getting a little bit of uh, market support. And this little top right here is something to watch out for, but this could be the start of a, a really strong green move, which if you just ride it out for one more minute, have that strong hand, now you're in really good territory. You've got 14% uh, profit in your pocket and you've got another 79 cents to go till the next resistance line. I would only recommend to my students, if you did get into this trade, if you happen to find it, because it was a, a kind of a hard one to find, I would get out right here, 19%, we'll close that, and here's why. Where we got close to RB, we had already gone a decent percentage of this stock's daily range, and we're hitting that 945, that powerful time window closing, uh, with a volume spike and a blue star indicator. All of these measures together, these indicators, are, are clear signals that it's time to exit. So again, you got a really long trend. This doesn't always happen. Seven straight green candles doesn't always happen for you. So be happy that you got it and take that, uh, what was it? 18.7% and be happy um, with the rest of your day. You can go do whatever you want. Uh, that was the early tra trade that we had on the 26th. 
And next, I want to go forward. And sometimes we have stocks like EA, that's a, you know, a publicly traded company. Sometimes we have indexes that we uh, trade as well. And I'm going to look at QQQ here uh, a little bit later in the morning. Uh, if you are still in the market after that nice EA trade, just roll forward until the 11 o'clock hour and want to look at it on the uh, a greater time scale. Usually after 11 o'clock, I use five minute candles. And you saw on EA there, we had one minute candles. So it's all about perspective. Uh, one minute candles, if you keep them too long, it's going to clutter your screen. And so we'll just go to, to five minutes. And here, uh, QQQ had had a nice green run pretty much through 1030. And then it started to go red. And what we're seeing there is a cycle. It went, it rode up and it hit a top and now it came down, uh, hit back to opening price, which is an important one, which is also clustered with SA. So it gave support in that vicinity and a Y point. And now we're cycling back to the upside. We've crossed up above this powerful line, which is previous low, um, which we talked about in the last trade. Previous low is equivalent to a previous high. People, you, you know, investors and stock traders use it as kind of a target. So we've cleared that and we're above the risk zone again. We've lost all our red signal. So this is just a different strategy than the, the trend trade that we did on EA uh, earlier in the morning. This is more of a cycle trade. So we're going to take advantage of the call. All, all, all strategies that work and are invested uh, are valid strategies. So just get in the simulator like this, find your opportunities and see how they do. It's, it's zero risk and you get access to this simulator. If you just get in the, on the 10 day free trial, uh, you'll, you'll have the opportunity to log these trades and I do recommend you log them. And uh, one or two conversations with a coach to go through them and kind of talk about goals and what, what strategy might fit you. But here on the cycle trade, we're in on QQQ with a call. So let's move forward one minute at a time. We'll see as this trend builds. That's a good good start. We're at seven percent already in just uh, two minutes, and it is flirting with that previous support, turning into resistance. And now we're really getting some power. Uh, we got that K band, that blue uh, highlight around our big old green candle, and these are some nice powerful candles. So we'll roll forward one minute, and that hits the pivot. Pivot is kind of that center point between all the resistance and support lines that are published on the chart. And we're already at 23%. I don't see any reason to press our luck any more than this. We already saw that it hit, uh, it tried to cross the pivot earlier during that strong green move and it didn't have a, the opportunity. So let's just close, be happy with a good 23% gain and roll forward. Well, actually let's, let's take a look because the market was pretty strong green in this time frame, So let's just back up uh, again to around where our Q trade started. We'll go to 1109. I want to look at a different one at the same time frame. So it's just an illustration, coach's tip of the day. Look at your list. When, when the market is moving and a lot of stocks are moving together, you can pick different stocks. And sometimes you'll have multiple options. Sometimes there will be just one candidate uh, that just jumps off the list. So QQQ had a nice move on the cycle, but here's a, a nice trend that was forming with Tesla. So different strategies uh, can be profitable at the same time uh, in, in entirely different looking charts. So Tesla is uh, at the high for the day. We're at CLV of 98, so almost at the high if it weren't for that little wick. And very important here is it had gapped to 290s. And here's uh, a big thing is Tesla is volatile. We, um, we talk about that a lot on these trade reviews, but 300 is a big price point for Tesla or any other stock or index. Those kind of triple digit numbers, those big round numbers, uh, the, uh, the people that move the prices here, they are banking on those big numbers. So I'm going to get in here on a call and I think we can ride this from 298.26 to about 300. Uh, and once it gets to 300, I'll, I'll probably bail. And I'd recommend that any student does as well. Um, just because unless, unless it's, it's, you know, all the conditions are, are still good for a green move. Uh, there's some risk involved when you get to those big round numbers. So let's get in. we got some renewed volume and we'll see how far, how close to 300 we can get <clears throat> moving forward one minute at a time. 
Nice higher highs. Okay, so right there at a couple minutes in, we are looking at 299. So we're, we've got a dollar left to run and we're already at 10%. You don't want to push it, so let's move forward cautiously. Let's see exactly how far this this will roll. We're getting some pullback as we approach 300. And now that we're, we've got a little bit more context, the pivot is there. It's 299.56. So as we kind of ride this up forward one more minute, I see the pivot. I see the pivot stopping this trend before we ever get to 300. So my initial profit planning, you just have to be cognizant on the fly and uh, make make that risk averse decision to just get out into strength. Let's close that uh, call option out uh, with this, especially with the the minor time window 11:15 popping up. It's just a, a good time to exit and look at our trades for the day. So on. February 26, 2019, we had three calls. Uh, three minutes on EA, we made 18.7%. Six minutes on Q, we, which is the NASDAQ, we made 23.1%. And then six minutes on Tesla, 12.4%. Uh, these aren't trades that you get every day. These are really, these are big ones. These are big hits. Um, these aren't singles, these are home runs. And so look, find your strategy. Uh, get in the replay simulator, take advantage of the 10 day free trial, uh, sign up for a month of membership uh, at, at the light level and you get access to this simulator. Find trades like this, just get, be meticulous, search for them, dig through the replay day, find a move and just figure out what your entry criteria are. And really uh, that's all you need to do. You just need to do it over and over again until you prove that your trading strategy is effective and then you can take it to the live market. But you have access to all this 10 days for free. I don't see why you wouldn't want to jump on that. Um, but in closing, yeah, just remember there are different strategies uh, that you can employ, cycle trading, trend trading at any given time on any day. So get hunting in the replay simulator and figure out what your strategy is gonna be. Thanks Coach Rob. Thanks for joining us everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.